for Tuesday, the 30th of August, 22, this is Force of 13, Zayu Channel with the latest information. And we have an ongoing developing situation. And we start off in New South Wales, vigorous winds over the Alpine peaks this morning. Bureau Meteorology continues to have in place severe weather warning for damaging winds for the snowy mountains and the southwest slopes forecast districts. Strong north to northwesterly winds over elevated parts of the Alpine area will continue ahead of another cold front that will cross the Alpine region this morning. Winds will forecast release later this morning following the passage of the front. Damaging winds averaging 80 to 90 kilometres an hour with peak cuts of around 110 kilometres an hour possible over the Alpine areas above the 1900 metre mark. These conditions forecast to east below the warning threshold late this morning and it's only one area under the warning and that's the Fredbo Top Station. And Victoria is under a uh, severe weather warning. It's also for damaging winds. East of Gippsland, the northeast, west, south of Gippsland forecast districts. Strong north to northwesterly winds continue across the eastern ranges. Winds are forecast at ease this afternoon following the passage of the front. Damaging winds 17, 16 to 70 kilometres continue over the eastern ranges, particularly over the most elevated areas and peak gusts of 100 to 120 kilometres an hour remain possible. For the remainder of Tuesday morning, expected to ease below warning thresholds during the, the afternoon. Locations which may be affected, Dargo, Force Creek, Mount Hotham, Mount Buller and Omeo. A wind gust of 137 kilometre an hour was recorded at Mount Hotham just after 2am today and 113 kilometre an hour gusts at Force Creek 11 minutes past 2. A gale warning, the west coast, central coast, central Gippsland, east Gippsland coast. And Port Phillip Bay and Western Port under a strong wind warning. Now we have a look at the winds at the 850 millibars level. Initial flood watch for the western, central and eastern Victoria. Minor flood warnings for the Latrobe, Yawa, Kiowa. And initial minor flood warning has been issued for the ovens and Kings River. And current capital city temperatures at the time of uh, doing this update 14.6 in Sydney, Cold One, Melbourne 9.6, 14.3 Brisbane, 5.6 Perth, another cold morning, 11.3 for Adelaide. Just under 11 for Hobart, 12.2 Canberra and 23.5 in Darwin. Strong wind warning for the central north coast, Bank Strait, Franklin Sound, east of the Flinders Island in the upper east, southeast, southwest, central west coast in Tasmania and the far northwest along with the lower east coast. Gale warning for Tasmania. 
and you can clearly see from the Melbourne radar the uh, clockwise motion of a developing low pressure system. The Northern Territory is in the clear. Now we'll have a look at the pressure and precipitation out to Wednesday morning. And whilst we uh, look at the precipitation and the pressure, the information is at the bottom of the screen. Uh, Monday saw thunderstorm activity stretching for 3,000 kilometres. The late winter thunderstorm outbreak unfolded across the east and the southeast in Australia yesterday with severe thunderstorms. As the sun rose yesterday morning, thunderstorms were stretching from the eastern inland of the Northern Territory down to Western Victoria, spanning close to 3,000 kilometres in distance. Yesterday's uh, early morning activity was unusually active for late winter's morning in Australia with large thunderstorm outbreaks like this commonly occurring in the afternoon during spring or summer.